Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're going to show you today a trailer that I'm really excited to show you. It's a great little package. Uh, this is a 2020 Cimarron North Star three horse living quarters with an outlaw conversion. I really like the setup of this trailer. I like the size of the trailer. I love the living quarters. It's a little different than something we've done here in the past. Uh, just trying to mix up inventory a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and walk you through this. Like I mentioned, it's a 2020 Cimarron, but it's stock number 5N200030. Just some general specs on this trailer first and foremost. It's 8 foot wide, it is 30 foot on the floor, and it's 7'7 seven, seven tall. So it's a very easy to maneuver trailer. It's not massive by any means. But when I get into this living quarters, you're gonna be kind of blown away at, at the size of it and how comfortable it feels. But we'll start underneath here. We've upgraded to the 30 pound propane bottles over the 20s. You just got a lot more capacity. You're not having to fill up those 20s as often when you, when you upgrade to these 30 pounders. We've got two boxes in here. I'll open them up for you and we'll take a peek. The one on the right here is for our house batteries. And then the one on the left is for our brake system. This trailer is equipped with electric over hydraulic brakes. So as you can see all those components, the nice thing with having them in these boxes are they're, they're completely out of the elements. They're not getting beat up with road blast. Um, just nice and secure out of the way you can lock them up as well. The other thing is this is a slide out trailer so we put dual electric over hydraulic jacks. Very responsive. Having the dual jacks is great with the slide out. It gives you a little bit more stability. You can kind of level this trailer out. Um, if you're not dead center when you're hooking this trailer up to a truck you can kind of manipulate those jacks and kind of walk it onto the trailer itself. So easy to hook up. We've got our awning out, so it's an electric awning. We've got some lights underneath, and then also we have exterior speakers. So this is a great place to sit outside and entertain outside this trailer, get out of the sun, get out of the rain, anything like that. And now we'll jump into this LQ. Again, this is a 13 and a half foot short wall by Outlaw. As you make your way in here, I'm going to point out a few things that we've done to this trailer. Again, it's a 13 and a half foot short wall. So against the gooseneck drop wall, you see a dinette. And then in the slide out, we have a couch. On this, this is a very popular, you know, two seating areas, two sleeping areas setup that isn't a massive trailer by any means. Again, this is a 13 and a half foot short wall. But if you want to be able to leave this dinette up for somewhere to eat, hang out in the morning, drink your coffee. You have your sofa that can fold down into a bed, but this dinette will fold down into a bed as well. This is a one person sleeping area right here to where your couch, you know, you can get two people on there. But nice little setup here with the with dual seating areas. We put you a little pony wall right up here, going to the gooseneck sleeping area, just gives you a little bit more privacy. There is a flat screen TV up there in, this, in the bed area as well. So on this trailer, we also equipped it. You have your AM, FM, radio, CD player, DVD player. But then also we've gone in and we've got this trailer dish ready for you already. So at that point, you just give us your account information or as far as account number. Then when you come to pick the trailer up, we'll already have it set up for you and you're ready to go. Like I mentioned in the slide, we have the sofa sleeper. So this will fold down into a bed. 
Behind it is the water tank, the fresh water tank. It is a hydraulic slide, so that's why we put the water tank in there. It's that big heavy duty slide. It's a six and a half foot slide. But as you can see, it really opens up this trailer. And again, this is a great setup with two seating areas. So it's a great place to entertain. You can sleep multiple people in this trailer, but we really like the way this trailer lays out and, and how it turned out as well. We've got a pocket door going into the bathroom, so you don't have to worry about a door swinging one way or the other. In the bathroom, you'll get your radius shower with skylight, a lot of room in there. Also, if you're a little bit taller, gives you some room to move around in there. Behind that is a closet for you. Dual close rods. Then you also have the additional base and, and there is a table for the sofa sleeper as well. You have your pass-through door going into the stall area. Then you've got a toilet, which we've upgraded to the wood with a puff leather to match, you know, our valences, and then also the, the couch and dinette. And then you have a bathroom vanity as well. But a lot of storage in this trailer. Which is very surprising with the size, with a 13 and a half foot short wall. We re again really like the way this trailer turned out. So we work back into the living area. You've got your 6.0 refrigerator and freezer. Again, the ability to take a lot of food, drinks with you, and then also a, a good size freezer, not the little dorm freezers, I like to call them. Flat screen TV. Above that, it's got a convection microwave oven which is a great feature to have on these trailers. We know you're out and about and on the road. This way, whatever you're carrying in, in your freezer, you can cook about anything in there. One thing I want to show you is, is, is this sink. That is a deep, deep sink. We've gone with a lot of silver accent to this trailer. Just tried to mix it up a little bit. We really like the color pattern on this trailer, but that is a deep kitchen sink. And then also, you've got your recessed two, cook, two burner cooktop stove. Nice thing about it being recessed is, you know, you're not giving up as much counter space with having it raised. On the end here, we did an extension on the countertop. Just gives you a little bit more if you're preparing food. Nice little feature, just having that. And that little guy there will tuck out of the way. Again on this Outlaw conversion we're big big fans. Um, not only do you get the incredible craftsmanship and quality on these but the warranty and they stand behind it. You have a five-year craftsmanship warranty from Outlaw. The other thing is you get a three-year no questions asked warranty. So if for example the manufacturer of that convection microwave oven is one year if Outlaw puts it on, they're going to stand behind it three years. You also have 24-7 customer service, 365 days a year if you buy a new Outlaw. So if you got something you need troubleshooting, need some help, you can call those guys at Outlaw and they'll, they'll walk you through everything. So they're fantastic to work with. I'll show you here just a quick little panel here. We've got our on-off switch. 
Here's our hydraulic extension for the slide out. This is also equipped with an Onan 4000 gas generator. So you've got your start right there. And then over to your right is your awning. Again, that's electric, in and out. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door. And the reason why is I wanted to show you, you can see this extrusion goes clear to the nose of the trailer. We extended that, typically it comes to about here and we kind of stop it and you have the white sheeting, but we just like the looks of it. So we extended that extrusion all the way up there to the gooseneck. We've talked about it on these bigger trailers and all the living quarters. We go ahead and put that amber turn signal in the middle there. Again, these are big, wide, long trailers. It's a great little uh, marker light for you when you're going down the road. Just another spot where you can kind of see where you're at. But also it'll let people know, hey, I'm trying to come over with this big trailer. So that's a great little feature we've been doing on these trailers. Um, 8,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. Standard aluminum wheels. Those are 17 fives from Cimarron, and those are 16 ply tires. So you've got good running gear underneath this trailer for its size. You see the green tabs, that's nitrogen filled, meaning PSI levels won't fluctuate as much in cold and hot weather causing blowouts. You get a one year, no questions asked warranty uh, from the vendor that Cimarron uses for their wheels and tires. If you catch a nail or a screw in one of those tires, it cannot be repaired. They will go ahead, you take a couple pictures of some codes on there, send it to them. Within about four to five days, you'll have a brand new tire. Two years of roadside as well, which is a great feature. As we work into the stall area, you can see I've got drop windows on the tail side here. I've got the first two down, and then there is a third in the door, but I've got the door opened up for us, so I just left that one up for now. This is the very popular PC load, cowboy load, whatever you want to call it. We went ahead and put padded dividers, stud divider at number one with an escape door, so if you are only hauling two head, you need additional feed, buckets, coolers, etc. You can put those up front there, not have to worry about them getting underneath the horse as you're going in. On these Cimarron's, you'll notice, you know, nothing protruding from the, the walls. Everything's flush. You know, with these slam latches, you know, no metal to metal contact. So you're not getting that really loud clanking noise from that. And also everything has a radius. Animal safety is number one. So everything has a radius, no 90 degrees, no sharp angles, anything like that. We make our way out up there you have your hay pod and we extended the side back so you can just barely see that generator box unless you come to the back then you can really see it from right back here again a gas Onan 4000 generator you also have a deck up there so you can get up there loading hay, unloading hay, doing anything you need, working on the generator. You're not having to stand right on the edge or anything like that. So that is a nice little safety feature as well. Sometimes you can go in if, if you'd like to. We've built trailers this way or we've had customers at it, but you can do a safety fence up there as well. We can do that after the fact. So if you want to have an actual fence that goes across that whole back, that can be done. We've got the easy angle ladder. 
So again, not a bolt-on where you go straight up. We really like this, this ladder. We've had quite a few people add it to their trailers after the fact even. Again, it, it pulls up, extends out, goes to the ground, a nice, easy transition for you getting up this trailer rather than going straight up the side. Now I'll open up this back tack. These are independent doors, so I can open one or the other in no particular order. That is a nice thing about that. And on the back here is the new cam latch by Cimarron, that polished stainless steel, two locking points. You can see that foot down there that goes ahead and grabs onto the back of the trailer. So again, with that very popular rear side load, this is what you get. You get this full width rear tack. We really like this setup because again, it doesn't add a whole lot of length to the trailer. It's like a mid tack would, but you get a ton of storage space as you can see. There's your three tier saddle rack. If you're hauling more saddles, you wanna add them to it, you can. Those are adjustable on that post. We've carpeted the whole tack and even the doors. A lot of hooks in there. And then on this right hand door, you'll see your four tier blanket tree. It's on a gas shock as well and swings out. And then you've got a brush tray. On this rear tack, we put two fold up steps as well. So it's a nice easy transition if you are loading and unloading items. This is also kind of a little bit of a, a blank canvas for you. Um, over here in this right hand corner, yes, we do have our blanket tree over there when that door swings in, but that's a great place. Like if, if you're wanting to add a, in this one, I wouldn't add a corner water tank. I would look at uh, maybe like a, a half moon shape that could go on that wall. So you have additional water for the horses. It's gravity fed. Um, you can go in add if you needed to add more saddle racks to this, you know, potentially another post could be put in there for additional saddles. Um, but a lot of things can be done back here. So we try to equip them with a lot of options for you that we feel are add a lot of value to the trailer to you. But with that being said, sometimes we kind of leave it up to you. So you don't have to wait for this trailer to be built. You can kind of customize some things back here if you'd like. So. But again, that is that full width rear tack that is Everybody just absolutely loves this setup. As we make our way over here to driver's side, here's your fuel fill for that Onan gas generator. Fuel up your pickup, pull up to the pump, fuel up your generator. The big heavy duty drop windows by Cimarron. And then we've got the manger storage as well. Now this is a three horse, so there's not a manger in that escape door at number one. So you just have the two mangers. But the beauty about having that full width rear tack is that's where that fuel cell is. It's back there in the corner, rather than us taking up maybe some manger space with that fuel cell. And then you have your drop window and your escape door. And then we put a step going into that first stall. So again, if you wanna use it for additional storage or a mudroom, fueling up your pickup, then you're gonna fuel up your generator. You've got your cooler in there with a cold drink. Horses are loaded. You can walk up here, open up this escape door, grab it. Don't have to worry about the horses at all. You can check on them as well. But this is a great, great trailer. We're really excited about it. It's only been here a couple days. 
But again, we really like the way this trailer turned out. So at this point, if you have any questions on this trailer or anything else, give us a call, 303-684-3400. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.